will take it and I'll break it There's no reason that I fake it They may hate it, can't escape it I'm no longer though a blanket If you want to, then you got to win it Something that I ought to stay and true to What I'm not you is my past to say and I do so today is a video I am super, super excited about because girl, as you saw in the intro, I know ain't it cute. I am super, super excited to show you guys this because this is kind of like a new hobby of mine. This was the first project I've ever done, but after this, I am repainting everything. So basically, as you guys know, I'm really into buying vintage things. Like I like to go to flea markets. I like to go to vintage gift shops and things like that to look for vintage things. And I just got really inspired after going to these stores and seeing how they basically turn a piece of really ugly furniture into something really pretty. I finally decided to buy some chalk paint and do it myself. And the cabinet behind me is what I will be showing you guys today. Also, this video is actually in collab with my friend Lauren. Her YouTube channel is Laura DIY here on YouTube. If you guys like DIYs, you will love her channel because she is like the queen of DIY videos. All her DIYs are super affordable, super easy. You're gonna love her, so make sure you check out her channel. So basically, this DIY is gonna show you guys how you can redo it. Sorry, that's Michi. <laughs> this video is going to show you guys how to redo like a piece of furniture you already have in your house that you're just getting sick and tired of. I'm using chalk paint because a lot of chalk paints out there nowadays, they're non-toxic, VOC free, and they're safe to use around pets and kids and things like that. Also, the thing with chalk paint is that you don't have to sand it, you don't have to prime it, so you're gonna save a lot of money there too. And it just saves you a lot of time because sanding is like the worst thing ever. Girl. So anyway, enough about my love for chalk paint. I'm just gonna let you guys get into the video. Video. Also, be sure to check out Lauren's video. She's going to show you guys some things that you can display on um, any type of table you have, a nightstand, whatever you have, and just make your room a lot cuter. So, that's it to my ranting. For the things you need, I'm just going to make life easier and link everything down below with the prices and where to get them. So I'm just starting off by cleaning up the surface with a cloth and some vinegar and I also removed the hardware because I don't want to get paint on them. And for the inside, I want to keep the yellow so I'm just going to tape the edges on where I don't want the paint to go beyond. Once I got that down, it's time to paint so I'm going to shake up my paint and I'm just going to dip my brush in there very lightly because you want to use a very small amount since chalk paint is very dense. Also, it dries really quickly so move really fast. You're going to need two layers of paint to make it look all nice and opaque so don't worry too much about the first layer not looking perfect and also I would highly recommend if you can to get a smaller brush for detailing for example you see that little detail I have going on there it just made it harder because I didn't get a smaller brush so lesson learned don't be cheap anyway this is what it looks like with one layer of paint you don't even have to wait for it to dry because chalk paint dries really fast so go ahead and begin with your second layer and you're just gonna repeat the same thing and ta-da! Doesn't it look so beautis? Or should I say beautiful? If you don't watch my vlogs, you probably don't know what beautis means. But if you do, give this video a thumbs up. Uh -huh. To set everything, just like you would set your makeup or your nail polish, I'm going to use this thing right here. I'm going to link it down below. Basically, it's just kind of like a top coat. So you're going to take this sponge, and I will leave the link down below for the sponge too. But yeah, you're just going to use a damp, dip it into the wax, which I would basically describe it kind of like a wax. It just gives the top like a shiny finish. And you're just going to buff it on like so. Just be sure you're not using too much of this. Make sure you're just working in a nice thin layer because you don't want it to be all all thick and goopy. So just set it aside for 15 to 30 minutes to dry and you can just use your hand to touch it to make sure if it's dry or not and just attach the hardware back and you are done. And boom, it looks like a complete new cabinet. And the fun part is that you can keep changing up the colors depending on how you feel about it. So hopefully you guys try this out and if you do, be sure to show me by hashtagging Whaley. And be sure you guys check out Lauren's video. I'll link it down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Leave me any requests down below if you have any other things you want me to do a DIY on. And that is it. Goodbye. 
while you're still here on my channel, I thought might as well tell you guys about some other videos you may want to watch as well. So on the left side is my summer haul video and on the right side is my vlog channel where I showed you guys how it was like when I went to a vintage shop. So watch those videos if you would like and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!